Oh, yeah, of course I'm pumped for this. We're going to go over why Newton's method works the way that it does. Like, where does this formula come from? So as I showed you at the end of the last video, essentially what we're doing is we're starting out with a tangent line equation. So y minus y1 is equal to, and we know that this is always the derivative at some x value, times x minus x1, right? That's our tangent line equation. So let's be a little bit more specific. Let's say that we know that we're guessing right, the derivative at some x value here. So some x value where we're saying that's where we think f of x, some curve, has a 0. All right, well, this would be x minus x sub n. y sub 1 would be f of x sub n. And this would just be your y value. But here's the thing. Think of it this way, like you've got some curve going like this. And we're making our guess. We're saying this is where we're guessing our 0 is at x sub n comma f of x sub n. That's where we're guessing to the curve f of x. We're going to take our tangent line, and it's going to go whoop, like that. And that gives us a whole new point. right? So that gives us what we'll call this x value right here. It's often x sub n plus 1. Right? That's what we're solving for. So this will be x sub n plus 1, and then f of x sub n plus 1. And you'll go through and you'll do the process again. You'll find a tangent line here. And that'll get you a point there. And then you go up to the curve and then you get closer. And it works out pretty nicely. So as long as your curved tangent line isn't 0 or isn't non-differentiable, at the point you chose, you'll be in good shape. But so where does this formula come from? Again, we want to know where the tangent line crosses the x-axis. That's where y equals 0. So we're going to plug in 0 and watch the magic unfold. Remember, our goal is to solve for this. It's our approximation of what our 0 will be. We want to have that x value. So that's x sub n plus 1 minus x sub n. Now, I'm going to solve again for this. That's what I want to solve for. So I've got 0 minus f of x sub n. So that's minus f of x sub n. I will distribute. Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to divide both sides by f prime x sub n. Ah, you see where the... Ooh. We're getting closer. That's x sub n plus 1 minus x sub n. OK, OK. Next, we just have to add x sub n to both sides. And we have the formula, which approximates for us when we have a 0 on our tangent line. It's such an, a unique and brilliant yet simple idea that ends up looking very difficult. And again, the idea is I'll get a point close to the 0. I'll find the tangent line, and then I'll plug in 0 into that tangent line equation to find what this x value is. I'll put that x value on the real curve and say, OK, where are we there? Do it again. Do it again. And we get closer and closer. Oh, awesome. See you in the exercises. Just a couple of them. Peace.